Well hi there folks. Remember this, my mini little four brushed motors build which was intended to be flown by just differential thrust and throttle for climb and descent. Well it was a total fail. No matter how I configured the motors my differential thrust wouldn't work. It was just a complete pig to to try and fly. Biggest problem was really as I opened the throttle the thrust level changed despite having the way I, despite the way I'd configured the motors. So I came up with the idea, okay never mind, let's turn it into aileron elevators. The little FS2A receivers will work on 5 volts, should be fine. Anyway, was it fine? No it wasn't. Again, just wouldn't fly. As you can see in these clips here, kept diving off to the right or left, I can't remember, kept diving off anyway when you opened the throttle past about halfway. Anyway, back at the ranch I discovered why. As you can see here on this little clip, as I was opening the throttle, this aileron servo here was actually involuntarily moving and swinging the thing into a high, hard bank. So again, wouldn't fly. Gave it some more thought and came up with a new master plan. And my super fix, actually two things, two things I've done that have changed it. The super fix works and as you can see here, I have control, ailerons will work, elevator will work, and I can even go full throttle, everything's still working fine. Super clever fix I thought. Anyway, before I tell you my super clever fix, which I was dead chuffed with, particularly one idea that I've never seen before, that I tested and it worked, I'll show you the test clips and then come back and I'll actually tell you what I did to sort it out. Right, roll the test clips. Right, well here we are again and I'm pretty confident it's actually going to fly now, so wish me luck. And look at that. That's full throttle, quite quick. It's swoopy for my liking. But flies well. It is quite a big elevator on this, so I'm not surprised it's swoopy. Not so bad. Whoa, a little gust there, quarter. It's only around 100 grams, so. Being chucked around, even though there's virtually zero breeze. She flies well. Not too bad at two thirds throttle. Being thrown around, it's such a lightweight plane. You really need zero wind for this. But I think we call that a success. If you've seen my previous vids here, they were pretty much a disaster. So keeping it in the air for at least a few minutes, I'd say is a success. If you've enjoyed it, please give it a like. Why not check out some of the other stuff on my channel? And I'm going to attempt to land this now. And as there's not much wind, I'm going to drop it just there. Well, how about that? I think we can call that a success, folks. So what magic did you weave then to actually get this thing finally working, Bob? Well, first off, as you can see here, no longer powered by 1S, powered by 2S 200 milliamp, which of course required a DC step-down chip 
I bought five of these battery eliminator circuits, is the other name for them, step down DC converter. Five for about three or four pounds from AliExpress. They will step down pretty much from 3S, whatever, you know, 12 volts, whatever. I think even 4S, I can't remember what the spec is. I'll put it, I'll put a link to it anyway, but they're stepped down to 1.8, 2.2, 4.3, 5 volts, whatever. Trickiest part is actually soldering across there to bridge to actually get the voltage you want. But anyway, managed to do that. So that meant I could do away with the little 1S's. Initially was going to use two of them. They're actually 3 amp X. So I thought, well, probably a good idea to actually check what current these motors are drawing. And I was very shocked to find that just two in parallel drew 3.7 amps, which is an awful lot. So, so in fact, two of them were getting on for 8 amps, really, which is a hell of a current draw for a tiny little 1S. So it's hardly any surprise that I was getting this voltage drop and aileron problem. Obviously, that cured that problem. But 3.7 amps or close on 8 amps for a 3 amp voltage controller would be a bit much. So initially made a Y lead so that I'd have two BECs and two brush motor ESCs. Bit of a jam to get it all in there. But anyway, I figured maybe there's another thing I can do to actually reduce this current draw. So I tested two of these little brush motors in series as opposed to in parallel and was amazed to find that two in series only drew 0.97 amps which is a hell of a difference. Well, what is that? It's almost a quarter of the same of the current drawn from two in parallel, which basically meant that my little three amp Beck would be enough to cope with all four motors. So basically we've got one three amp Beck wired to two brushed motor speed controllers and they're configured in such a way that the outer pair are on one speed controller and the inner pair are on the other speed controller and that eliminates any possibility of there being a difference in output or difference in balance between the two speed controllers. It's made a much tidier job. The FS2A receiver is in there. This tucks nicely in here. The Beck does get a little bit warm so what I've done is I've made a scoop. Incidentally the way that mounts on there is cocktail stick into a little hole there and then I put a pin through there. So I've got a little air scoop there and a couple of little outlets there. So it does get a bit of airflow when it's running. Still needs a little bit of a little counterweight there to get the CG right, but CG is perfect. It flies beautifully. And like I say, I discovered that brushed motors, apparently it's an inductive load, will work in series and they will work fine, as you can see here. Plenty of thrust. So a little lesson learned there. I thought it was interesting, an interesting fix. Learned a bit more about electronics as well. Thought I might share it with you because so you might encounter the same problem. And I'm pretty chuffed that I managed to eventually, after try all the trials and tribulations, actually get this little thing flying. I had built loads of these, 15 of the big littles, and five or six of the mini littles, and even the mini mini little. Plenty of build bogs on my channel if you want to see how I put these together. But that's the end of this little saga. I think the moral, of the moral of the story is if you persevere, you will get there in the end. I've learned something from it and hopefully you might learn something from it too. If you find the video useful, please give it a like. It helps my algorithms and why not check out some of the other stuff on my channel. Loads of these little glider builds, as I said, build blogs, um, but lots of other flying stuff. Something to keep you amused on a rainy day. And why not subscribe if you want to see more? And please check out my latest big little build, my first high wing design, which I'm calling the Little Easy Rider. Build blog for that is also on my channel and the really successful Maiden Flight. But I'll leave you with one of my favourite mini little builds and that is my mini little biplane, which is a beautiful flyer. Build blog for that's also on the channel and hopefully I will catch you all again soon with some other project or other. But that's all for now. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.